Hey everyone, today's video is about when you go to them bleeding at night. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. You stumble through the darkness, your body throbbing with pain. Blood stains your clothes, evidence of the battle you had just endured. With every step, your breath grows shallower. But your determination pushes you forward. You need to find them. Your two pillars of strength, Bakugo and Tadarki. As you reach their shared apartment, you muster all your remaining energy to knock on the door. Your fist sapping quickly against the wood. The sound reverberates through the quiet hallway and you can only hope that they hear it. Seconds tick by like an eternity, and just as you fear that they won't wake up, the door swings open, revealing a sleepy-eyed Wakugo. His eyes widen with alarm when he sees your battered state. Wyan, he exclaims, his voice lays with worry. Without hesitation, he scoops you up into his arms. Careful not to aggravate your injuries. What the hell happened? Are you okay? You managed a weak smile, your voice trained. I'll be fine, Bakugo. Just need your help. And Shoto's, too. Bakugo's eyes narrow, his lips pressing death in line. He carries you inside, cradling you protectively and calls out for Tadaruki. It doesn't take long for the dual-haired hero to appear, his mismatched eyes widening in shock at the sight of you. Ayan, what happened? Tadaruki's voice holds a mix of concern and fear, his eyes to gaze locking onto your injuries. It's a long story. I... I got caught in the middle of a villain attack. Managed to escape, yes. But it got pretty bad. Bakugo places you gently on the couch, his expression etched with worry. Tariki rushes to grab a first aid kit, his hands shaking slightly as he rummages through its contents. Both of them hover around you, their love and concern in the air. Let me take a look. Tadruki says softly, kneeling beside you. He begins to clean your wounds gently. His touch gentle, yes, but firm. Bakugo watches from behind. His grip on your hand tight. His knuckles turning white. You idiot. He whispers. His voice filled with a mix of relief and anger. You should have called for help. We would have been there in a second. You wins as Tadaruki applies antiseptic to one of the deeper wounds. The sting making tears well up in your eyes. Bakugo's anger instantly softens. He's dumb caressing your hand soothingly. I didn't want to bother you both. I thought I could handle it on my own. You admit it. Your voice barely above whisper. Bakugo's eyes softened, his gaze searching yours. We're a team, dumbass. We're here to help each other. You don't have to go through everything alone. Tadaruki finishes cleaning your wounds and begins wrapping them up in fresh bandages. He's touched cool against your heated skin. We love you, Ion. Your pain is still our pain. Never forget that. You smiled weakly, tears streaming down your face. I love you both, too. With your wounds attended to, Bakugo and Tadaruki help you lie down on the couch, tucking blankets around you to keep you warm. They take turns sitting beside you, their presence a comforting shield against the lingering pain. As you drift into sleep, their voices blend into a soothing symphony. Their whispered words promising to protect you from any danger that may came your way. 
in that moment, you know that no matter how bad at you may be, you will always have your two heroes by your side, ready to mend your wounds and carry you through the darkest nights. Days turn into weeks, and with each passing day, you gradually heal under the constant care with affection of Bakugo and Tadruki. They take turns watching over you, ensuring your comfort and well-being, and never leaving your sight for too long. Their presence becomes your solace. Their love abounds your weary soul. As your strength returns, you begin to spend more time together, cherishing the simple moments of tranquility and laughter. They cook your favorite meals, play video games with you, and engage in spirited debates about heroism and justice. Every moment is a testament to the deep bond you share. One evening, as you sat together on the balcony, watching the sun dip below the horizon, Tadruki breaks the comfortable silence. You know, Moyan, we were terrified when we found you bleeding that night. He confesses. His voice lays with vulnerability. Bakugo nods in agreement, his gaze fixed on you. We couldn't bear the thought of losing you, Thomas. You mean everything to us. Tears welled up in your eyes as you reached out to grasp their hands, intertwining your fingers with theirs. I'm sorry for trying to handle everything on my own. I didn't realize that I truly needed you until that night. Baku's grip tightens, his voice firm yet filled with tenderness. You're not alone, Moyan. We're a team, remember? We face everything together, the good and the bad. Tadaki's lips curve into a soft smile, and we'll always be here to catch you when you fall. You don't have to carry the weight of the world around your shoulders. In that moment, a profound realization washes over you. Their love isn't just about sharing joy and passion. It's about embracing vulnerability and finding strength in each other's arms. You understand that being in a relationship with them means allowing yourself to be supported and cared for. To share both the light and the darkness. But anyways, thank you guys for listening. Hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye!